There are 10 bad habits golden retriever owners need to stop doing. And this first one is causing you to accidentally train your golden to misbehave. You probably know that the best way to train your dog is through positive reinforcement. But many people are positively reinforcing their golden's bad behavior. Let's say your dog jumps on you when you walk in the door. You miss them too. So even though you're frustrated that they're jumping, you still give them pets and kisses because you love them so much. Well, guess what? They were jumping on you because they wanted your attention and they just got exactly what they wanted. So the next time you walk in the door, they're gonna jump on you again. It's an easy mistake to make, but if you wanna stop it, you need to get a few steps ahead of them. A great trick to stop your golden jumping on you when you walk in the door is to put a playpen in front of the door so that you can enter, but they can't get to you. Then you can wait until they settle down to give them attention. This way you're only rewarding them for being calm when you walk in the door. But even if you figure this out for yourself, you probably still haven't solved this. Letting other people positively reinforce your golden's bad behavior. Goldens are the cutest dogs in the world. And when you're on a walk with your pup, your neighbors are probably begging to come say hi to them. But here's the problem. If your dog is pulling on the leash to get to them so that they can get pets, and then they do get pets once they drag you over to them, then your neighbors are pretty much training your dog to pull on the leash. This is a tough habit to break, especially because it involves training other people. But it is possible. To fix it, you need to control the whole situation before the problem starts. One solution is to walk on the other side of the road so your dog isn't as tempted to pull over to your neighbors. You could also tell your neighbors that they can't pet your dog this time because you're training them. Or you can ask them to wait to pet your dog until your dog is sitting. There's another thing people do to try to stop bad behavior, but it's actually a huge mistake that ends up making the problem worse in the long term. We'll talk about that one a bit later though, because while we're on the topic of walks, here's this next bad habit. For many Goldens, a walk around the neighborhood is the only physical exercise they get. And not only is this bad for your dog, but it's bad for you too. Obviously, it's bad for them, because they're missing out on lots of fun and having a healthier heart and joints, which are both common problems that Goldens suffer from. But it's also bad for you, because if they don't get enough exercise, they're probably going to misbehave. Barking, jumping, chewing, biting, yep all likely to increase if you don't give your golden enough exercise. So what can you do? Well, there are the basics, like playing fetch, setting up a play date with your friend's dog, or taking them to a park so they can run around. But if you want to spice it up, you can even teach them dog parkour. This is where you set up an obstacle course and have them crawl under tables or jump over furniture. But they don't only need physical exercise. Not enough golden retriever owners give their dogs a mental workout. Golden Retrievers are the fourth smartest dog breed. But have you ever wondered what happens if they don't use all that brain power? Well, it's just like if they don't use all their physical energy. You're probably gonna see more barking, biting, jumping, and chewing. So you need to give them a mental workout, but how? My favorite way to do this is to take my Golden to a local trailer field on a harness and a 20 foot leash. This gives him way more room to sniff than if he was on a regular six foot leash. And since smell is a dog's primary sense, and Goldens were bred to be outdoors with their owners, this is like going to Disney World for them. I'll link my favorite harness and long leash and some of the other tools mentioned in this video down in the description. But I know going to the park isn't always possible. So if it's raining outside, or you're too tired or busy to entertain them, you can give them puzzle toys. These are toys that make them use their brain to get the food out, and it's mentally exhausting for them. My favorite puzzle toy is a frozen Kong. This is where you soak their kibble in water for 10 to 20 minutes, put it in a Kong, put a dash of peanut butter in the hole, and then freeze it. It's a lot of work for them to get their food out, but they'll love every minute of it. If you do decide to give your dog puzzle toys with food in them, make sure you're not doing this next habit. But first, if you love your Golden Retriever and want them to be the best dog they can be, subscribe to Golden Hearts so you never miss any of our future videos. Now here's a bad habit lots of Golden Retriever owners struggle with, overfeeding your dog. Chubby Goldens are adorable, but let's be honest, an overweight dog is not a healthy dog. They're more likely to experience health problems like joint issues, arthritis, and even a decreased lifespan. And Goldens are already not the healthiest breed out there. But to make things worse, it's especially easy to overfeed Golden Retrievers because they're such foodies. 
You might give them a little too much food at mealtimes every day, and the next thing you know, you've got an overweight dog. Or you might be free feeding them and allowing them to eat throughout the day. This makes it hard to know how much food they're actually eating. So to make sure you don't overfeed your pup, follow the feeding instructions on their food and talk with your vet to make sure you're feeding them the right kind and the right amount of food. Overfeeding isn't the only bad habit related to giving your dog treats. There's another one that can cause health problems but has an easy fix that we'll talk about later. But first, let's talk about a bad habit that can hurt your dog, hurt other people's dogs, or even get you in legal trouble. And that is not keeping your golden on a leash. Here's a quick story. I was at a local park the other day when this guy walked up with his dog. It's not a dog park and it's not fenced in, but his dog was not on a leash. As I watched them walk by, another guy with his dog walked into the park. This dog was on a leash. So the off-leash dog was super cute and friendly, and he ran up to the dog on the leash hoping to say hi. His human called out to the other human, don't worry, he's friendly. I'll bet you can see where this is going, because the off-leash dog wasn't the problem here. The dog that was on a leash was not friendly, and he gave the off-leash dog a nasty bite on his nose. So even if your golden is friendly, it's always best to have them on a leash out in public because of other dogs, cars, or them eating something they're not supposed to which knowing Goldens and their love of sneaky things is pretty likely. And we didn't even talk about the fact that if it's your dog that bites somebody, there's a chance you could get sued. Now here's a bad habit that you see people do all the time that could end in disaster. Even though Goldens love the wind in their fur and all the interesting smells, their safety always has to come first. That's why letting your Goldens stick their head out of the window when you're driving is a bad move. No matter how good your driving is, there's a chance your golden could get hit by little pebbles or rocks flung up by the cars in front of you. Even a tiny little pebble could do some serious damage to your pup's eye or face. Okay, so you might think that going slower is safer, but if your golden smells something interesting outside that they want to explore, there's a risk of them jumping out of the car to check it out. But here's one bad habit that will probably do the exact opposite of what you're hoping will happen when you do it, and that is punishing your golden. This is a tricky one, because sometimes it actually works. Well, at least in the short term. Here's a common scenario you might find yourself in. They're chewing on your shoe, so you yell at them, then they stop. Problem solved, right? Not so much. This is a short term fix that can have bad long term effects. You're teaching your dog to be scared of you instead of teaching them to want to obey you. So training them might be harder in the future. And even worse than making training harder, is that you're hurting your relationship with your best friend. Do you really want to have a relationship with your dog that's based on you dominating and yelling at them instead of mutual love and respect? If you do, then this channel and Golden Retrievers are definitely not for you. Golden Retrievers are sensitive people pleasers, so they respond best to positive reinforcement to teach them what you want them to do. And speaking of positive reinforcement, if you've got a Golden Retriever puppy, then check out our Golden Retriever Puppy Handbook, which gives you a plan for the first 30 days of raising your Golden Retriever Puppy. Now let's talk about the habit that most people don't know is bad, but is slowly getting worse and worse. You've probably seen Goldens out in public with their service dog vests on. And service dogs do amazing work. But not all dogs with service dog vests on are real service dogs. And the fake ones are ruining it for the people who need real ones. Some people put these vests on their dogs so that they can bring them places they otherwise wouldn't be allowed. So let's talk about why this is a problem. Picture this, you go to a restaurant and there's a dog in a service dog vest, except they're not a real service dog and they're misbehaving. Well, some people are gonna see that dog and think, wow, service dogs are pretty annoying. And the restaurant owner might even think, hey, this dog is annoying my customers. I don't want any more dogs in my restaurant. So the next time the restaurant owner or any of the annoyed customers see a dog out in public, they might just assume they don't know how to behave and give them a hard time, even if it's a real service dog that has been properly trained. So if your dog is not a real service dog, please don't put a service dog vest on them and make life harder for people with handicaps who actually need a real service dog. Now let's get back to a bad habit that people are making that can cause their golden to be unhealthy, feeding them treats with fillers and artificial ingredients. You probably know that heavily processed treats with a bunch of artificial crap is not good for them, even though your golden happily gobbles them up. But here's the good news. If you have food in your hand, your golden is probably going to love it no matter what it is. So if you're going to give them treats, then you might as well give them something healthy. 
You could give them real cheese or pieces of real meat, like cut up chicken or steak. But if you're not up for the task of cooking for them every week, there are plenty of great treats available to buy. Just try to avoid those with lots of flour, sugar, or artificial coloring. My Golden loves these Pure Bites beef liver treats, which only have one ingredient, beef liver. Speaking of training and treats, there are seven simple things you can do every day to have a calmer, more well-behaved Golden. See what they are in this next video.